I get a job doing dishes, which is that room right there. It's about 10 feet from us. I would go from doing brunch dishes to do happy hour bartending. Once I bartended, I really liked it, you know? I really liked just asking people what they wanted to drink. I'm Max Genero. I'm the owner of Hattie's Hat. In 1904, it opened as the Old Home Saloon. It, it was a drinking neighborhood. This was the nicest saloon in the neighborhood. It was bought by a Swedish couple. In 1950, they turned it from a saloon into this same footprint that we're in right now. It was the place to eat, fancy. By the late 60s, things had changed a little bit. They sold it to the guys who turned it into Hattie's Hat. Hattie's was, of course, just the space was legend, right? It was a neighborhood bar that everyone knows in this neighborhood and in, in Seattle. I knew that neighborhood. I knew what it was like then, right? I'd been coming to this neighborhood since the 80s to drink, and then I was working in a bar, and that made it really easy to drink. That's when it all started. You know, I was an alcoholic from the get-go. So I had about a nine-year run when it was like, things were a little out of control. I mean, I kept it together. I bought two bars. I kept two bars operating. I knew I needed to get sober, and I gave myself a month to finish up loose ends. And so I pretty much went on like a extended sabbatical for about four years. In 2009, the guys who own this place were the guys who I came to work for originally. One of them called me and said, you know what, we're, we're gonna sell Hatties and we've got a deal kind of in the works. And I said, don't sell it, sell it to me. He's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. You know, I'd never run a restaurant. I just ran the rock club and the little neighborhood place. And so I had to start to understand the kitchen better. My first goal is to make happy employees because if the, if the staff is happy, then we're gonna have happy customers. Now that the city has changed as much as it has in the last decade, it's like, it's even more special to me because there's all these new bars and there's very few of the old ones left. And so my job is to maintain old Seattle bars and I want them to survive. And so uh, that's kind of like my, uh, I don't know, that's my purpose in life. Mm -hmm.